Hi fellow de developers, this is a continuation of my previous video. On this video, what I'm going to show is how to attach more than one images to a model. A model could be anything. Let's say you have a message model or you have a user model. Okay, let's take an example. Um, let's say you have an Instagram profile. How many images do you have? I'm pretty sure you can have one or more than one images. Okay, unless you are brand new to Instagram. So something like that. So let me query this uh, database. You can see here for user one, we only have one image. For user two, we have two images. We have two records. Similarly, for user three, we have two records. So let's do this. For the first user, we can add one more image, okay? And I'll go through what are the settings we need to do. Go to your model. In your model, you need to have has underscore many underscore attach images. So I'm in my user dot rb class. In my user dot rb class, what I have is has many attach, and I am calling it a, it as a picture. Okay. So I have a picture here, and in my seed dot rb, let's say first year. Save. After making this change, user.rb has many attached. All you need to do is uh, you can run rake db migrate. I have already done it earlier where I was testing. And after doing that, all you need to do is since in our c.rb file, I have added user.first. So for first, first user, add a picture. Okay, once I do this, it will get uploaded to Amazon S3 bucket. I have shown how to do a setup for uploading an image on S3 bucket on my previous video. So please check that out. I refresh the screen here and you can see here we have five images. So let's upload one more. I'm going to upload the same image I have uploaded earlier a few minutes ago. So let's get, let's get started. All I need to do is rake db said. All right, let's go back to the, our S3 bucket and refresh it. Now you can see six images here and we can verify the last timestamp here. Okay, now let me go to our database and we can query our data from the table. Now you can see I have added for user one. Now the user one has more than one image. So we have two images there. These are the blob ID, which is the ID for this particular images, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so thank you for watching my video. To get more information on that, I would recommend to go through this particular documentation. It's pretty straightforward, and you can basically get more detailed information on it. So, um, this one more thing here. So we have array, where is it? Okay, has many. Yeah. So in your private method, you can have images or pictures colon array. So it can hold more than one images. Okay. So thank you for watching. I see you watching my video. I'll see you on the next session. Bye bye.